So the power line guys have come through here and uh, cut everything down under the lines like they do every few years. Uh, this time I saw them in time and asked them to leave any long bits so I'm going to try and do something useful with them and then try and sort it out so it's actually a productive bit of coppice. Um, it needs some work. You can see they've left some really high stools. Yeah. This sort of thing. Anyway, I'll see what I can do. I'm going to see what I can get out of it. There's a, it's mostly goat willow. It's really wet in here. It's bits of blackthorn. There are some hazels. Um, yeah, all sorts really. I'm just going to go through it and try and sort it out a bit, see what we can do. So I've roughly started sorting it out. Um, I've got a load of stuff here that could be hedging stakes if I let them dry out so they don't root. Loads of little bits of brush, don't know what I'll do with them. And some, some of those I could make a hurdle or something out of them. Anyway, I've cleared this area um, so I can get into it. It's so muddy here, I think I'm going to go over there into the hazel and try working it up in there. There, I'm out of it now. It's a lot less muddy here, which is nice. Um, yeah, so I'm on the edge of this hazel. That's all going to get left, but maybe coppice a few bits on the edge of this gap where the power lines are. I started working it up a bit. Um, yeah, so there's just loads of goat willow in here. It's not very nice. I'm going to try making a hurdle out of it. I never have before. Um, see how that goes. Uh, I need some kind of hammer for hammering it down, so I'll probably get one from here because this hazel needs to come out and then I might make a little thing for splitting here um, yeah and then this is the sort of stuff we're working with there is a few bits of nice hazel in there but it's mostly scrappy goat willow bits of blackthorn anyway um, I'm gonna try it it'll be fun I've made a start with this goat willow um, it's not great but it's it's working I think I'm gonna try splitting some of it see how that goes it splits and it bends okay so I've put a few bits in um, that stuff at the bottom's hazel because I don't know how well this willow will last, it might rot. So I thought I'll put some hazel down at the bottom. Hopefully that'll last a bit longer. It's working, it's working quite well. The goat willow splits really easy, I mean, really easy. Um, and all this stuff's been down, I don't know, at least a month I didn't cut it down. And it's still bending, I can tie it in knots at the end. Really flexible. Yeah, it's good. I don't know how long it will last. It's probably nowhere near as strong as hazel, but um, yeah, it's quite fun to play around in the woods making them. There, it's finished. Not the best hurdle in the world, but it was quite fun making it. It's really lightweight. Um, yeah, I don't know how long it'll last, but make quite a good temporary screen in someone's garden or something. Um, and it's better than leaving it as a pile of brash like all this. I was going to make another one, but I broke the mould. <laughs> um, so I'll have to make another one of them at some point. Anyway, that's me done for now.